Hey there, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. All of the love and support that you've given us has helped us on our mission to help you learn more about psychology in a fun and digestible way. So thanks for that. Now, let's continue. Are humans naturally good or naturally evil? People have been asking this question for thousands of years, and the answer is still unclear, but we know more about human nature now than ever before. Here are 13 secret facts about human nature to help you decide for yourself. Are humans good or evil by nature? Number one, we make harsh assumptions. When someone does a bad thing, you assume they're a bad person. But when you do the same thing, you blame your environment instead of yourself. This is called actor-observer asymmetry, and it's a fundamental part of human nature. We make false attributions about others while cutting ourselves plenty of slack. Number two, we enjoy distress, sometimes. Are humans cruel by nature? According to a 2013 study by Rudolph and others, humans relish the distress of other humans, but only if we think they deserve it. Imagine a supervillain getting beat up by a superhero. We enjoy watching this character suffer because they did something bad. But what if the villain was attacking the hero? we judge that hero as morally good. Instead of pleasure, we would feel anger or pain. So yes, we do enjoy the suffering of others, but only under the right circumstances. Number three, we ignore facts. What's the best way to make an argument? Most people think facts and figures are the most compelling points out there. However, according to a study by Lord and others, humans are too narrow-minded by nature. If someone presents us with sound evidence, we're likely to ignore the facts and stick to our original point of view. Number four, we believe in justice. Is the world a fair place? The facts say no, but human nature says yes. As children, we believe the world is just and fair. The good are rewarded and the bad are punished. As you grow up, you learn that the world is more complicated than you thought, but you still believe life is fair in the end. When you see someone suffering, you convince yourself that they deserved it. You assume that all pain is warranted and all hardship is self-imposed. By nature, humans believe in a just world, even if the world isn't just at all. Number five, we are empathetic. Humans are predators sitting at the top of the food chain, but does that mean we're violent by nature? Our history is filled with bloodshed, cruelty, and war. But one biological discovery proves that humans are built to help each other, not hurt each other. According to a 2015 study by Lam and Majancic, the human brain contains mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are special nerve cells in the brain that instinctively activate when you share a feeling or behavior with someone else. Your mirror neurons connect you to the world around you and create a complex emotion called empathy. While humans can learn to be violent, Empathy is ingrained within our nature. Number six, we demand fairness. A 2008 study by Valdesolo and Desteno researched people who judge others. While they freely attack and shame other people for their mistakes, these people rarely pay any attention to their own issues. In other words, we expect the world to be fair, but we allow ourselves to be selfish. Number seven, we are stronger as women. According to a 2008 book by Dacey and Travers, one biological sex is actually stronger than the other. Men are typically taller and more muscular, but women have structural and biological advantages. Dacey and Travers explain that women are less vulnerable to defects and disease than men. Why? Because XY is a far more fragile pairing than XX. Despite what our society might say, women are the stronger sex by nature. Number eight. We hate being bored. Would you rather shock yourself or spend 15 minutes sitting in silence? In 2014, Wilson and others found that most people would rather shock themselves. By nature, humans search for any way to avoid being bored, even if that means hurting yourself in the process. Number nine, we search for balance. When problems happen inside your body, you naturally regenerate and stabilize. Your body is always trying to return to its natural state, a state of harmony and balance throughout the body. No matter what's happening, from physical injury to overwhelming stress, your body and brain are always searching for balance. Number 10, we are overconfident. Are you smarter than the average person? 
Most people will say yes, but they're usually wrong. People who think they're smart are often the least intelligent. This bias called the Dunning-Kruger effect is just one of the many different ways that humans overestimate their own capabilities. We do the same thing with morality, kindness, and trustworthiness. In other words, humans are overconfident by nature. 11. We are attracted to darkness. Why do we fall for mysterious people? Troubled and dangerous souls have long attracted people of all orientations. Think about traits like self-interest, insensitivity, and impulsiveness. These traits are strongly associated with severe personality disorders like psychopathy, but they're also considered highly attractive. 12. We are easily intimidated. Like many species, human leaders may gain power through intimidation. Humans naturally surrender to and support individuals who scare or overpower them. Even if a leader isn't right for the job, they may intimidate their way to the top. And number 13, we abuse anonymity. Have you ever wondered why so many mean comments are left online? Humans are generally ethical when we know someone else is watching, but when we become anonymous, we're more likely to betray our own values. Has human nature ever gotten the best of you? Do you think humans are naturally good or naturally evil? Tell us about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.